Hello class! This is a very quick video to show you how to make this chart in Microsoft Excel. What makes this chart special is that it has two Y axes. In this example it has the discharge pressure in PSIG on the left and it has horsepower on the right. So let's get started. Your homework assignment asks you to make uh, collect this data from lab and so to make our job easy I am going to take the data that you collected and I am going to paste it into Excel. And so what I did simply is I came over to the Word document, I selected it, and then I hit Control C or right click, copy. Go over to Excel, right click where you want, and then do paste. It's scrunched together. So I'm going over to Home, and in here we can find Format, and then Auto Fit Column Width. Looks good. Now our data, you're going to collect more data than I'm going to do for our chart. I'm just going to type in for the percent open on your valve, uh, 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent open. One very important trick is do not put units in with your numbers. If you do this percent, your data is, your chart is not likely to work. Or worse yet, percent, your chart is not going to work because Excel interprets this as a text string and not a number. Now your data down here I have is there and flow, I don't remember what we had for flow. I thought I had that on another chart, on the one I was practicing on. And so we'll push that there. And so there's the data. When you're done, you should have some tables that look like this. Another important tip is to make sure that your x-axis is to the left of your y-axis uh, data. So for example, our x-axis is flow. And so if we look at our chart, what do I mean by that? Is right here, our x-axis is flow. So we want that on the left of our y-axis data, which in this case is discharge pressure and horsepower. So on our chart, discharge pressure and horsepower. If you do that, it will make making your graph much easier. Select your data is the next step. And then what we're going to do is go to insert and we're going to come over to charts. Very important to pick the right chart. You're going to come to scatter plots. And so right here you can see you have uh, something with a bunch of dots on it. That's your scatter plot. And then the best one to pick, in my opinion, is the one with straight lines and markers for your data points. And so that's this one right here. And we're looking pretty good. Next tip is come up to quick layout in the top left. And the top left one will help you because it will put on your access titles which you need. And so it's an easy way to do that. And we're starting to look pretty good. Now when we look at our chart, and we can make our chart bigger so that we can see it a little bit better. That's a good practice. In fact, I could fill the screen up with it if we wanted to, but then we don't see our data so well. And so I'll make it a little bit smaller so that we can see our data. And we'll fix it up a little bit more when we're done. And so you can see the data and the chart now. And what you'll notice is that the orange line, which is horsepower in this case, the names on the, on the legend here come from the names at the top of your data. And so if you name that right, this is already named properly. But you'll see I can't read it so well because the numbers are a different scale. So the discharge pressure goes all the way up to about 100, but the horsepower only goes up to about 3. And so I can not I can read the horsepower pretty good on here. So if I was at 80 uh, gallons a minute, for example, I could see that the horsepower is right around 85. But I can't really read the chart too well. And so I need to puff up the horsepower chart. And I will I can do that in two ways. One is right click on it and say format data series. 
or you can just simply double click on it. And either way you do that, it's going to pop up this format data point or format. Actually, I want I don't want to format the data point. I want to format the whole series. There it is, format data series. And um, we can click around on different options that we have to choose here. We have the paint bucket, uh, we have effects, and then we have series options. And so the one that looks like a little graph here in the top right is what we want. And you'll see it says secondary axis. So we're going to click that. And we can close this. We can open up anytime we want. And now I can see both. The horsepower is on the right in this case, and the discharge pressure is on the left. And so I can change that. So let's go ahead and fix our Let's go ahead and fix our title axis here. I'm going to call this horsepower, or no, discharge pressure. Always put your units in there, PSIG. We'll go ahead and do the x-axis while we're here, which is flow, and that was in GPM. And then what we'll see is, is we don't have a title on the right axis, and we want that. So come up to the top left, and there's add chart element. And we're going to look for axis titles, and we want secondary vertical. Wow, that's looking awesome now. And so I can add horsepower over here. And then all that's left is to clean up our chart. It's looking a little wide and short, so I'm going to just make the scale look a little bit better. I can move this legend so that it's on my graph where I have some space, and then I can move my chart out so it fills up the chart a little bit better. Let's put a title up here and we'll call that pump curve. And we're done. It is always a good practice to come back to your assignment and check what I'm asking for. So create a spreadsheet from scratch, how to make your axes, have some titles on your axes, have a graph title, have connecting lines on your data points. Make sure all the text isn't too small so that you can read it. Add a second line with the horsepower. Da, 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 da. And it looks like we have it about done. And so that is all there is to this video. I hope it isn't too hard for you. It should be pretty easy. And we can talk about it more if people are struggling. Thank you.